Hello everybody, I'm Noob Noob Fruit and in this video I'm gonna show you how to unlock Superman Like literally, legitimately, there's nothing clickbaity about this I've seen a lot of like clickbait videos and it made me so mad <laughs> that I had to make this one So it's gonna be a real long video with every single stage that you need to do in order to unlock the entire cosmetics uh, for Superman So uh, if you want to unlock Superman, just simply come to the battle pass, click here, right here And as you can see, there are uh, a couple of cosmetics that you can unlock and to unlock Superman, you basically need to do three stages. The first stage is to unlock Clark Kent. So there are some Superman quests that you need to do that will be included in this video, of course. And then the next stage, by having the Clark Kent skin, you can unlock the Clark Kent Superman skin. So this is Superman right here. And once you have Superman, so this is stage two, you can proceed to stage three, which are the Shadow Superman skins. As you can see, everything around here is Shadow style, which is absolutely amazing. So to unlock these, it's going to be a grind. Basically, you need to do a 12 weeks worth of epic quests. So epic quests, we get seven, of, uh, seven epic quests every week, and they are the purple card quests that we get. And uh, in this video, I'm going to include every single epic quest. They will be timestamped, they will be organized, they will be like uh, uh, organized by week. So you can choose the week if you want to do the week 3 epic quest, if you want to do the week 7 epic quest, and then you can choose the quest that you want, of course. So everything is going to be timestamped, everything is going to be organized, and basically I'm going to include every single epic quest from week 1 to week 12, and by completing all of those, you'll be able to unlock the last cosmetics for Superman, and in case you don't know, Superman is literally the last unlockable skin, it's the icing on the cake of chapter 7, uh, of chapter 2, season 7 of Fortnite, and it's absolutely a beast of a skin as you can see you look absolutely cool and if you unlock superman if you manage to unlock him you you, you literally get bragging rights in my opinion because he is very very hard to unlock and it takes a lot of grind and yeah so this video took so 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 long to make it it took me so so long and so many videos i had to go through so much editing so i really hope you guys like uh, appreciate it and uh give it give it a like give it a subscribe give it a comment give it whatever you can give uh anything is absolutely appreciated and yeah, without further ado, sorry for taking so long to explain, but you need this explanation to know what you're getting yourself into. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's go. Let's unlock our own Superman skin. Hello everybody, I'm Noob Fruit, and today I'm going to show you how to get around the, uh, the NPC bug. Uh, because Fortnite failed to activate the three NPCs that we need to unlock Superman, so we don't have any of these three NPCs right here. So there's no Beast Boy, no Batman, and no Superman. I already went to all three locations and I could not find them. So if you want to complete the uh, like the Superman quests, which which are these ones right here, it, sa it says that you have to complete quests from Clark Kent, Armored Batman, or Beast Boy. You need one, three, and then five to have Clark Kent skin, and then you can proceed with the quests. Uh, my advice is for is for you to go to these like uh, oh oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Holy, everybody's going to is going to look for uh, for Superman, but he's not there, sadly. So follow my advice and come to these payphones right here. So there's a bunch of these payphones all around the map, and basically you can get these NPC uh, uh, these NPC quests in some of the payphones, not all of them. So don't be disappointed if you don't find it at the first one. There it is, nice. Okay, so we have the defeat aliens from uh, Clark Kent from Superman. We have defeat aliens from uh, Batman. We have search chests from him and him. We don't care, so we don't we do one of these. Okay, so we'll do this one right here. Okay, so to unlock, uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna unlock the call to action. We're gonna unlock the uh, the call to action emoticon, which is this one right here. And just just by doing this quest, we just got from the payphone. Uh, let me go back here. Yep, there it is. It's a Batman one. Uh, defeat aliens. So to defeat aliens. We're gonna go to. Um, let's go. We need to go all the way to Dirty Docks or Believer Beach. So we'll go to Believer Beach. All right, here we are at Believer Beach. Now all we have to do is just drop one of the press passes. Buddy. And there it is, just like that. We should have the call to action uh, emote. There it is. So let's exit and see what we have. Nice, there it is. We got the, oh, the call to action emoticon, which is the first reward for the Superman quest. Okay, there it is. We got the uh, Defeat Aliens again from uh, Superman. So let's take that. Now all we have to do is just go to a POI where there are aliens. And nice. Okay, we have um, we have Pleasant Park and Dirty Dogs close enough. So we'll go to Dirty Dogs because it's all the way over here. Alright, so here we are at Dirty Dogs. Let's grab this alien right here. 
Mm, let's do this, maybe. Nice, there it is. That's the second uh, quest completed. All right, let's check out our uh, third uh, Superman quest. Uh, this time we're gonna go to Catchy Corner. There's a payphone right over here, right over this spot. And there are actually three payphones close to each other at this PUI. That's why I'm coming here. So if we don't find it in one, we'll find it in the other. So let's check out this one right here underneath me. Hopefully we can find a weapon as well. Yep, there's Batman right there. Defeat aliens again. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll do exactly that. Where are the aliens? Where are the aliens? Uh, we're here. And the closest one is Misty Meadows. So we're going to go to Misty Meadows and defeat the aliens again. All right, here we are at Misty Meadows. Let's drop down the alien. There it is. Nice. So that should give us the spray. So let's exit and see if we have the spray. All right. There it is. Nice. We just got the Superman shield. Absolutely love it. So let's take a screenshot of this. This could make for a nice thumbnail. And yeah, only two more left to go to uh, unlock Clark Kent. All right. Let's do our fourth uh, Superman quest. So we're going to check out this uh, payphone right here. We checked another payphone, but we didn't, we didn't find any Superman quest. So we're going to try this one. Hopefully this guy is a friendly. Come on, be friendly, be friendly. I think he's doing the Superman quest as well. Yeah, yeah, just go, just go. I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here. Thank you, okay, let's go. Oh, there it is, Beast Boy. Reach speed 99 in a vehicle. All right, very doable. Finally, we got something new. Alright, so in order to reach 99 speed in a car, since we couldn't find any Ferraris, we're gonna try it the old fashioned way, which is this way right here. So let's grab a, uh, a tire and we're gonna give it to that. Come on. Then we're gonna fuel it up. It already has 100. And then we're gonna go to max height and hopefully that will give us enough. Um, actually, let me, let me do this. Yep. There we go. Okay. Let's go up. Hopefully this gives us 99 speed. If this doesn't, I don't know what will. Uh, because Ferraris has, have been disabled from the game. So you cannot like reach 99 speed in anything. And I've already tried it like with the other cars. So this is kind of my last hope. Come on, come on, come on. Hopefully nobody destroys our sky base. They should respect what we're doing. We're trying to unlock Superman. Come on. And up. All right, here we go. Nice, there it is. <laughs> Damn, that really worked. That's 100 speed. Woo. Okay, so that's the fourth uh, Superman quest completed. So this is how you should do it, guys. Uh, you need tires, you need that kind of uh, car, and you need a sky base. And simply just go through it with the tires, with the off-road tires. And that should give you 99 speed and you can complete that quest right there. All right, for the fifth and last uh, Superman quest is going to be this one. Uh, take damage from a player and survive, which is uh, not too much to ask for. We only have to take like a couple of damage and then just insta build, instantly build. So this is going to be our fifth uh, uh, like uh, Superman quest to unlock the Clark Kent uh, skin finally. So this is where I got it from, uh, just in case you want to know. Uh, it's going to be at this payphone right over here, right next to Caddy Corner. But as I said, uh, these quests are randomized and you can find them uh, at any payphone. Uh, some payphones don't have them, some payphones have them. So you have to go around the map and uh, like check out all the payphones until you find one. So let's go do this quest right here and unlock our uh, Clark Kent skin. Yep, there it is. And one more. Okay. Okay. 
And let me heal up. This should count as us, like, surviving. Yep, there it is. Nice, finally. Okay, so we finished the final one. Now let's go. Let's go and see if we have the Clark Kent skin. We don't really care about the game, but winning the game. We're here just for the Clark Kent skin. Nice, there it is. We finally got Clark Kent. So we completed all five, like, uh, Superman quests. The ones from the missing NPCs. So this is proof that you can unlock Clark Kent, Clark Kent using the solution that I offered. Uh, so yeah, uh, starting now, we're going to do the other quests and we're going to unlock Superman. So for this Superman quest, it says that you have to glide through five rings in order to unlock uh, the Daily Planet back thing. So these are the five rings right here. And you need to do this while wearing while wearing the uh, the uh, um, Clark Kent skin. So uh, the five rings are going to be right over here, right around this area in the air. So as you can see, here they are. And a lot of people are starting to use them. So we're going to glide through it. As Clark Kent, in order to unlock the Daily Planet, uh, the Daily Planet like a backlink. All right, come on, come on, come on. So these guys don't have the Clark, the Clark Kent uh, like skin, so it's not gonna work for them. Oh my God, I think I missed one. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do this. Uh, thank God we have this uh, next to us, so we're gonna use the abductor. There we go. All right, <laughs> I had to do a couple of tricks to get it. So we went through all five rings as Clark Kent. So now we exit the game and see if we get the backlink. Damn, this this like Kalel cape looks so awesome. So this our our Clark Kent skin. Let's go check out if we have the backlink. There it is. Finally, we got the Daily Planet backlink, which is super cool. So only one more reward uh, to unlock, and then we're gonna have to grind all the epic quests. For this Superman quest, it says that we have to use a phone booth as Clark Kent. So we're gonna make our way all the way to uh, Misty Meadows, and there should be a phone booth there. Hopefully Fortnite activated the phone booths because they've been uh, kind of uh, off their game today. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Finally. Woo! They freaking finally activated the phone booth. So let's use it. This guy's becoming Superman. Let me become Superman. And up. Ta-da! <laughs> so just like that, two Supermans all the way. Okay, let's check out if we have the uh, if we have everything we need. Let's leave. So that should give us uh, the entire like Superman set, or at least the first part of the entire Superman set. Nice, there it is. So we got the uh, the Superman cape, very dope. We got Superman himself, the style and the inbuilt emote, the secret identity. Now we can start riding for the uh, Shadow Superman. Uh, like styles. This uh, week one epic quest for season seven. It says that you have to accept a quest from a payphone. So we're gonna go to the payphone at. Uh, Let's see, at right here, so at this spot. So right next to Steamy Stacks. Ooh, there are alien ships here. That's nice. All right, so where's the payphone? All right, so I found the payphone. It's right here. It's actually uh, very well hidden. So let's interact with it. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna ping where the payphone is exactly. So it's right over my body, right here. So let's interact with that payphone and that should complete the quest. So week one epic quest for uh, season seven. It says that you have to upgrade weapons at uh, upgrade benches. So there's an upgrade bench at Catty Corner and uh, they are not like really, uh, there are not really too many of them around the map. So as you can see, only a few. So we're gonna go to this one right here at Catty Corner. And you simply have to grab a weapon and go to the upgrade bench, which is this right here, right under me. All right, so let's grab a weapon and see what we need to upgrade. Grab this assault rifle. Let's drink these minis just in case. Because people like to land here. Alright. So, this is the upgrade bench right here. As you can see, let's have the weapon on. And as you can see, you need gold to upgrade it. So we need 200 gold to upgrade the first weapon. From common to uncommon. Which is a lot of gold. Uh, so yeah, you just need to do this uh, three times with three weapons. Or maybe like three times on the same weapon. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week uh, one epic quest for uh, season seven, it says that you have to search chest at Steamy Stacks or Gra Craggy Cliffs. So either make your way to Steamy Stacks right here, so this entire POI, or Craggy Cliffs right here, this entire POI, and simply start looking for these chests and open them. So as you can see, that's three out of seven. And all you have to do is just find seven of those all around the map until you complete the quest. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. That should complete the challenge. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So, for week one's uh, epic quest for season seven, it's very simple. It says that you have to uh, collect uh, different weapon types. So, all you need to do is just collect five different weapon types. And weapon types are these uh, like types right here. So, as you can see, this one says uncommon. This one is uncommon. 
Uh, I already collected like this one is the rare, rare variety and now I just found a legendary uh, variety so as soon as I pick this up as you can see it is completed and I just got 30,000 XP points so yeah that's it that's all you have to do and that should complete the quest for this uh, epic quest it says that you have to deal 500 damage uh, with uh, pulsar rifles or pulse rifles so as you can see so to do that all you have to do is just make your way to a spot where you can find these IO guards so for example you can come right here to uh, steamy stacks right over here and you will find these IO guards right underneath you so we're gonna kill some and we're gonna confiscate their weapon and use it for ourselves okay uh, let's kill this guy no 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 <laughs> I've been abducted damn it leave me alone get me back <laughs> put me back Okay, we're back. <laughs> that was embarrassing. There it is. That's the Pulsar Rifle. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. There it is. Okay, so now we deal damage with this. Damn, yeah, this weapon is still. Oh, so if you don't, uh, if you don't, uh, like, scope in, it actually rapid fires, which is very useful. Alright, so yeah, as you can see at the top left, the damage is stacking. Just take this weapon and keep dealing damage until you hit 500, and that should complete the quest. In this uh, week one epic quest, it says that you have to buy a shield potion from a mending machine. So, so these are all the mending machine locations, as you can see. So you can just screenshot this and you will forever know where all the mending machines are until you get used to them. So we're gonna go to the one at the uh, catty corner right here. So let's go and buy ourselves a, uh, a shield potion. So the mending machine, there it is. So it costs gold to buy this stuff. So just make sure you have the gold for it. You need 120 gold to buy a sheet potion. So let's do that. And yeah, there it is, just like that. Uh, quest completed. So for this uh, week one epic quest for season seven, it says you have to get an elimination with a railgun. So there it is, just one elimination using a railgun. And this is a railgun right here. So this is what it looks like. It drops in uh, different rarities. So you can find it in uh, uh, epic, uh, rare, legendary, all kind of rarities. And you can actually find it in any chest, so you have to kind of look a little bit until you find it. And when you find it, just find somebody, uh, like a bot or someone to kill. I highly recommend doing this in uh, Team Rumble mode. Uh, reason being is uh, because in Team Rumble mode you get to respawn, so just, just find this weapon and you can just re respawn infinite times until you kill somebody, which should be easy enough. Also, Team Assist is uh, turned on in uh, Team Rumble mode. And uh, once you kill somebody, like uh, any, if you, any of your uh, like uh, uh, teammates kill somebody with a real gun, it will also count for you. So that's uh, uh, very useful as well. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. Just find someone and kill them with this gun. Also, you have to remember that this gun goes through some things and some things he doesn't go through. So as you can see, if it's a tree, then it cannot go through it. But if it's a wooden structure, it will go through it and kill the enemy. As you can see. So yeah, it's a very powerful gun. It's more like a cannon than a gun. So you have to be kind of careful and you have to aim really, really well. So yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should be the quest. So for week two's epic quest, uh, it says that you have to visit five different name locations in a single match. So the first location is going to be Dirty Dogs right here. Just come here, take this spaceship. This place will always, always, always have a spaceship for you. So I'm going to ping it in a second. Uh, let me go to maps. So just go to this spot right here and you will find a, a UFO. And then from there, we go to Retail Row. So let's go. So this is the most optimal way to do this challenge in a single match. Also, you can go to Team Rumble mode and you can simply ask your friends to go to one location each and then you can simply go to one more location and then you will have five locations. So this is location number two. So we simply have to pass, pass over it. There it is. Then we go to Lazy Lake. So let me ping it. Lazy Lake. You can do this really, really fast with the UFOs because you can boost and they have enough fuel for you to go around all five locations without stopping. This is Lazy Lake right here. 
And then we make a turn and go to Catty Corner. As you can see, it's very, very close. Oh, somebody tried to snipe me. <laughs> I stopped moving for one second and somebody tried to snipe me. Snipe me. Damn. These tryhards. Alright, here we are at Catty Corner. That's number four. And then you simply make your way to Lazy Lake all the way over there. And here we are. Not Lazy Lake, uh, Misty Meadows. <laughs> so this should be the, the last location. Come on, come on, come on. And here we are. There it is. Just as easy as that. It only took us, what, like uh, two minutes? So this is the best way to do it. Just make sure you start our dirty dogs right here. Take the spaceship, the UFO, and just make your way through all these uh, uh, POIs. Of course, you can go uh, elsewhere, but uh, these POIs are the closest five POIs to each other. And yeah, that's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. This is a week two epic quest. It says that you have to search chests at Kearney Complex or Lazy Lake. So either make your way to Lazy Lake right here, or make your way to Kearney Complex and simply search for uh, seven chests. Of course, this is uh, uh, like doable, um, way easier in Team Rumble mode. So here we are at Lazy Lake, and we're gonna search for a couple of chests just to show you how. I think I see a chest over there. Ah, uh, it's already looted. Oh, a lot of people already looted this spot, sadly. I think everyone is doing the challenge. So this is gonna be a little bit tricky to find yourself uh, like seven chests. For this uh, week two epic quest, it says that you have to enter a UFO so the easiest uh, way to enter a UFO is to go to one of the UFO spots where you can find a free uh, saucer. So this is one of the spots, Aldridge Docks, right here. So as you can see, there's an empty UFO right under me. There's actually five locations on the map where you can find a free UFO for you to use. So I already made a video on this, so if you want to uh, like check it out, just uh, write all UFO locations to Blue Fruit and you will find it. So as you can see, just like that, we completed the quest. It's pretty easy. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week two epic quest, it says that you have to deal explosive damage to opponents or opponent structures. So all you have to do is deal 500 explosive damage. So I highly recommend you do this in Team Rumble mode. Just grab a, a lot of these grenades right here that I have in my hand. And you simply find yourself some opponents. Or you can simply uh, aim at their structures. So let's find ourselves an opponent. Oh, over there. There he is. He's waiting for the supply drop. And he even built for us. That's absolutely perfect. So we're gonna bomb the shit out of him. In one, two, three. Let's just throw everything at him. That should count. Oh, there it is, 150. <laughs> Sorry, I suck, but at least there it is, as you can see. Uh, uh, just by doing that, we got 500 damage and we completed the quest in one go. So all I needed was uh, 12 grenades in Team Rumble and just somebody turbo building on himself. And yeah, that, as you can see, it's pretty easy to complete. I just completed it in two minutes. So you can do the same. For this uh, week two epic quest, it says that you have to collect spray cans, two spray cans from warehouses in Dirty Dogs or garages in uh, Pleasant Park. So you can just go to Dirty Dogs right here, to this uh, warehouse, right over here. And there should be two spray cans right inside of it. I'm sorry, my cat is meowing. I think he wants to get out. <laughs> one, one second, one second, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, so this is where the spray cans are gonna be. Spray can number one. And then spray can number two right over here. And that's it, that's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week two epic quest, it says you have to destroy equipment at satellite stations. So just make your way to any satellite station, just like this one right here at Stronghold, a uh, stealthy Stronghold. So this is a satellite uh, station, as you can see. If you want to know all the satellite locations, just write uh, all satellite locations, no blue fruit, and you will find them. 
and you simply destroy all the objects that you see so as you can see it's gonna start counting as you destroy the objects and you only need to destroy 15 of these and you need to be careful of other players because they do they do tend to uh, attack all right let's get inside ah there it is so yeah that's it that's all you have to do and that should complete the quest for this uh, week two epic quest it says you have to search for a graffiti covered wall at hydro 16 or near caddy corner so we'll go to the one uh, near Caddy Corner. So this is Caddy Corner right here. And you simply go to this spot right here. And you'll find a wall covered with graffiti that you can interact with. So it should be right underneath us. Yep, I can already see it. There it is. So let's make our way over there. Also, you can find the Special Forces NPC over here if you want to come talk to him. So here's the wall right here. And there we go. Let's take a thumbnail and oh. so yeah, that's it. Just examine it and that should complete the quest. For this uh, week three epic quest, it says that you have to dance near a lit campfire. So make your way to any campfire in the map. So this campfire, for example, is going to be right over here, right at this little island next to Lazy Lake, if you want to come straight towards here. And then you simply light up the campfire and then you emote. So dance. <laughs> and that's yeah that's it that, uh, that's all you have to do and that should complete the quest for this uh, week three epic quest it says that you have to catch fish at fishing spots so i highly recommend coming to this spot right here next to lazy lake there's a bunch of fishing barrels and fishing spots also you can go to lake canoe right here and you can go to uh, believer beach right over here so we'll do this at this spot because it has a lot of fishing spots so we simply grab a uh, fishing rod and we go to where the fishing spots are here we go and hop. and then you simply fish from the fishing spots make sure the fish that you catch are from the fishing spots all right let's grab us some fish that's one that's two i believe you need five to complete the quest come on come on come on all right that's more weapons <laughs> we need three more fish there, yeah, nice. That's three fish, two more. One more. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. So, for this week's three epic quest, it says that you have to destroy three boats. So, to do that, I highly recommend coming to Craggy Cliffs and going to this little shop right here. Because there, you will find a bunch of boats. All kinds of boats, like wooden boats and uh, like uh, those uh, contemporary boats or modern boats. So you can try it on each type. So there are these boats that are hung up on the wall that you can destroy. This should count. So that's one, two. And let's find us a third one. There should be another one outside. Yep, there it is. And that's three. And in case uh, those do not count, just go right here and you will find these boats right here. Uh, of course, to destroy them, we're gonna need a weapon. You can pickaxe them, of course, but uh, a weapon is much easier. And you simply shoot at them until they are destroyed. One more. And yep, there it is. So yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. I highly recommend coming to Dirty Docks right here, or Craig Lefts, not Dirty Docks. Because as you can see, it's full of boats and you can easily destroy any kind of boats. You can even destroy these wooden boats right here until you complete the quest. For this uh, week 3 epic quest, it says that you have to glide 20 meters uh, while holding a chicken. So just want to find one of these chickens right here and grab them. Come here. Come here, let me grab you. There it is. And then, uh, once you jump with the chicken, it will count as gliding using the chicken. So let's get into a high ground, like this one right here. And simply jump around. Oh, that's beautiful. And yeah, that's it. Just keep doing this until you hit 20 meters in air, gliding while holding a chicken, and that should complete the challenge. For this uh, week three epic quest, it says that you have to uh, end up or finish uh, a top 10. So it's uh, that's pretty easy to do in Fortnite currently because there's a bunch of these bushes that you can hide in. Just jump into a, a solo mode or any, any mode really, and uh, you can just uh, wait it out until you reach top 10. So now it is top 12, as you can see. So I'm just waiting for it to become top 10 and then I'm just uh, gonna like uh, uh, full hog it and just go fight someone and die of course and that should count as uh, completing the quest. <clears throat> also there's another way to do it. Uh, you can also go to Dirty Dogs right here. So as soon as the game starts go to this location right here 
and get one of those uh, free uh, spaceship or saucers and just go uh, to max height and just stay in the sky until uh, the game reaches uh, top 10 and when it reaches top 10 you can simply jump off uh, of the uh, of the saucer and uh, just die from fall damage and that should complete the, the quest of course so yeah uh, right now we're waiting for top 10 that's 12 we need two more to die nice there it is that's top 10 that's it that's all you have to do and that should complete the quest for this uh, week three epic quest it says that you have to travel between porta parties so this is a porta party right here this is one of the few ones that are left that are working so it will be right inside this house at corny complex so simply exit right here and you will find it so this is the house i'm going to show you so this is the house the one with the surveillance camera and you simply go inside and go inside this one and it will take you somewhere else oh nice it actually takes you inside very cool so yeah that's one of the few working photo parties right here in the game in corny complex make sure to come here and use it and that should complete the quest this uh, week three epic quest is that you have to use nuts and bolts so to use nuts and bolts you need to go to an npc that sells those or you can just find them all around the map uh, they're pretty rare to find so we're just gonna go to rick sanchez the npc and just buy some from him and the idea is for you to use those nuts and bolts in order to craft uh to side side create some weapons into other weapons so we're gonna do just that so let's go right here rick sanchez should be right underneath us yep there he is let's grab the weapon on the top and then we go speak to him hey there buddy and as you can see you can buy the nuts and bolts from him so let's buy some and then simply we go to craft and we go crafting and as you can see we can change our pump shotgun using the nuts and bolts into a lever action shotgun so there it is and oh that's it that's all you have to do just keep doing that until you complete the quest for this uh, week for epic quest it says that you have to travel 1000 meters in a saucer so if you want a 100 percent chance of a saucer uh, spawn just go to dirty docks and go to this uh, spot right here and you will find a free ufo that you can drive so there's the UFO right there. It is usually uh, guarded by AI. So you might have to fight a couple of AI. Or you can just jump into it and fly away just like this. And yeah, you simply have to uh, like fly this UFO for 1000 meters. And that should complete the quest. That's very easy. This uh, week for Epic Quest is that you have to destroy hiding places. So hiding places are these places that you can hide in. So you just click E and you can actually hide inside them. So this works on uh, like trash uh, trash uh, containers, so you can destroy that. Also, I recommend coming to Dirty Docks because there are three hiding places right here uh, that you can destroy. So that's one. Uh, number two should be around here. Let me get some, some mats just to show you guys. All right, there it is right there. So that's the second hiding place that you can destroy. Another trash, uh, trash can and oh. And then one more, which is this uh, porta potty right here. So simply destroy that. And yeah, there it is, just like that. In one POI, there are three hiding places that you can destroy, and that should complete the quest. Also, this works on uh, hay bells, so you can just go to Corny Complex, for example, or you can go to Steel Farm right here, and you will find like a couple of hay bells that you can destroy. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. For this uh, week for Epic Quest, it, sa it says that you have to abduct an opponent with a saucer uh, tractor beam. So first you need a saucer, which is this saucer right here. If you want a 100% spawn rate for saucers, go to Dirty Docks to this location right here and you will find a free UFO that you can uh, that you can drive or fly. And then I'm just going to show you how to how to like abduct somebody. So we're just going to use a bot grenade. So we're going to create a bot and then fly here. And then we simply Come on. There it is. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that by simply abducting them, you will complete the challenge. And then we throw them away. <laughs> and there it is. That's it. Pretty easy. For this uh, week for Epic Quest, it says that you have to deal damage near an abductor. And abductors are these like giant ships that float around the map. And you can actually find them uh, on the map when uh, the game starts. So they uh, spawn randomly. So just look at the map, look where the abductor is. So for example, there's this one on Believer Beach. And you simply go all the way to the abductor. And you will find chests on top. You will also find weapons. And you will also find enemies. 
So let's grab a, uh, a weapon. Oh, we got some water grenades. Okay, so we can test it uh, here. So, oh, okay. I did not mean to do that. And hop. Oh. And yeah, there it is. That's all you have to do. Just keep fighting all around the abductor until you reach the damage needed to complete the quest. For this uh, week for epic quest, it says that you have to destroy objects at Lazy Lake, Pleasant Park, Holly Hatchery, or uh, I forgot what the, <laughs> the first one is. But basically, you go to one of these POIs. So we'll go to Pleasant Park, for example. And you simply destroy objects until you complete the quest. So let's go inside this house right here. Now, everything in this POI should be counted as an object. So you're going to have to test it out. Just destroy random stuff. Uh, uh, just like you, you are farming at the start of the game. And yeah, that's it. Uh, just keep destroying objects until you complete the quest. For this uh, week for Epic Quest, it says that you have to hunt a, an infected animal. And this is an infected animal right here. It's li simply one of the wildlife with a parasite on top of it. So as you can see, there's a parasite on its head. And that makes it infected. And all you have to do is just, <laughs> just shoot it out. And yeah, there it is. That's it. Pretty easy. Uh, also, if you're wondering where to find these, uh, they are pretty rare to find but uh, basically the, you will find a lot of them right around here right at the left side of misty meadows you will find a bunch of them at reaping woods and you will find a bunch of them around lazy lake so you're gonna have to do a little bit of exploring but you will eventually meet one of these uh, especially that parasites are abundant right now and they are literally everywhere and yeah just shoot one of those infected animals and that should complete the quest so for this uh, week for epic quest is that you have to uh, experience low gravity using alien nanites or on the mothership so alien nanites are gonna be like these new items that are gonna give you like low gravity uh, so since those are not in the game yet we're gonna use the mothership and i'm gonna show you how to go into the mothership just go to any of these abductors so as you can see they are located on the map there's this one here and here and here so just go to, go to these abductors grab a weapon and wait for the shiny light to abduct you so we're gonna do that right now all right there's the shiny light right there so simply go inside of it and follow one of those rays so we'll go right here and we're gonna kill this guy right before he is abducted and we're gonna take his place there it is nice okay Woo! okay so here we are we're getting abducted so now we're gonna be sent into the mothership Nice, there it is. Begin experiment 9494. That's our number. Now we're gonna enter the mothership. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. And yeah, there it is. <laughs> Once you're in the mothership, as you can see, you already have the low gravity, which is pretty cool. So this is it, this is all you have to do. Also, if you just wanna continue, you can simply collect the golden stars that will uh, fall around the, the map. And when you collect five of them, you will be able to uh, choose whatever legendary loot that you want. So as you can see, there's a golden star right there. It's gonna be fallen from the top. And if you want, if you need more time, you'll find some purple stars right here. If you take them, you will gain five seconds. And these are the, collect are the golden stars. And yeah, that's it, that's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. Hey guys. So, for this uh, week 5 epic quest, it says that you have to uh, destroy computer equipment at satellite stations or colony complex. So you can either go to these satellite stations right here, and they are everywhere, or you can just go to colony complex to this house. I'm gonna show you a secret spot where you can find all the computer equipment that, that you want. So there's only one big house in, uh, in colony complex, and it's this house here, right here. So let's go do it. Okay, so all you have to do is just destroy the roof. And you're gonna find a real treasure. Ta-da! <laughs> so as you can see, it's full of uh, computer equipment and some IO guards. So you're gonna have to be careful of that. Okay, that's taken care of. So yeah, these are the computer equipment. You can just destroy them. Destroy as many as you have to until you complete the quest. And if this does not work, of course, you can just go to satellite stations, just like I said before. But this should work, because these are uh, the computer uh, the computer equipment at Colony Complex. 
And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. It's a week five epic quest. This is that you have to damage IO guards. And you can actually find IO guards right over here at Corny Complex. So just go right here at the center. And you can find a bunch of IO guards. That you can, that you can damage. Alright. Let's go. There should be one here. Yep, there it is. Upstairs. Let's go say hello. And hop. Come here. Come here, buddy. And yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's... Ooh, there's a vault. That's right. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Alright. So yeah, just uh, go around this PUI and you will find a bunch more. Uh, I can already hear a couple more right here. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's keep damaging them until you complete the quest. For this uh, week 5 epic quest, it says that you have to open an IO chest in uh, satellite stations or corny complex. So you can either go to satellite stations, such as these ones right here, for example, or you can just go to corny complex and you will find a bunch of IO chests, especially underneath. So just go through here, to this basement. Kill this guy. There should be, yeah, there it is. So you simply just open these chests right here and you can find some very cool loot. Let me change my AR. And there should be a couple more all around. So let's check here. Hmm. Ah, this one has a normal chest. Let's go downstairs. That's Sloan. Yeah, I'm not that close. Yeah, there it is. That's the next chest right there. So yeah, as I said, just come here and you will find a bunch of these chests and you can just open them. And that should complete the quest. So this is a week 5 epic quest. It says that you have to damage a saucer with a pilot inside of it. So just aim for this saucer right here. And simply deal 800 damage. Until it falls down. And yeah, just keep doing that. And that uh, that is like the basis of the quest. You will find these sources uh, in like certain POIs. So just float around. And you will see them like floating around a certain certain POI. Oh, like this one right here. <laughs> and yeah, just keep dealing damage to the pilots inside of it, to the saucer uh, itself. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 5 epic quest, it says that you have to eliminate trespassers. And trespassers are the aliens that uh, drive around these alien ships. So first you need to knock down the alien ship. Until it falls down. And a tres trespasser will pop out of the alien ship. There it is. There's one more there. No, 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 come on. Don't attack me. Let me go, let me go. Let's kill the other guy. Hop. And hop. And hop. And there it is. That's it. That's two trespassers in one go. Just come to one of these PUIs that have these like floating uh, saucers. And all you have to do is just kill the trespassers, which are the pilots of the saucers. And uh, to bring them down, all you have to do is just shoot them with an AR. So it doesn't take much to bring down a saucer. There it is. That's all you have to do. And the trespasser will come out of the saucer. And then you can just simply kill them. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 5 epic quest, it says that you have to deal damage with IO or alien weapons. So for example, I have my chimera uh, weapon right here. And there's a trespasser over there. So we're going to go kill him. But first, let's uh, let's shield up, okay? Just in case. I don't want to die in an embarrassing way. <laughs> so just let me, let me shield up a little bit. I'm going to show you how to do it. And hop, okay, there we go, we're ready, we are ready, as ready can be, come back. Damn, okay, uh, reload, and hop, and yeah, that's it, <laughs> it's pretty simple, just find one of these, like, uh, uh, like weapons, and uh, you can, like, craft these, uh, um, it doesn't show here, but you can actually craft alien weapons using the new nanites if you want to know how You can just check it on my channel. Just uh, write how to craft alien weapons noob noob fruit And you'll find it on my channel It explains everything and on how to use alien nanites to transform a normal weapon like an AR or an SMG Into an alien weapon like a ray gun or a pulse rifle uh, or even a rail gun so yeah, that's it. Uh, that's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. This uh, week five epic quest. It says that you have to loot uh, supply drops. So this is where a supply drop uh, drops. 
So I highly recommend doing this in uh, Team Rumble mode because a lot of surprise drops drop here. So there should be a surprise drop coming down. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Drop. Let me loot you. And up. Oh, there it is. And you simply loot that. And you get a, an epic AR. <laughs> Just like that. And yeah, I highly recommend doing this in Team Rumble because as you can see, there's a bunch of surprise drops everywhere. And you can simply uh, go through the surprise drops and loot them in one game and that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 6 epic quest, it's very simple. It's, uh, it says that you have to, uh, to collect 500 gold bars and that's pretty easy. So all you have to do, I highly recommend going to Catty Corner right here uh, because there's a bounty board right here right underneath me. So just stand here instantly and uh, activate the bounty board to get a bounty. So you can only use this once uh, per game. Just eliminate the player. And as you can see, you will gain 150 uh, gold just by activating that. So even if somebody else kills your target, even if it's not you, you will still get the gold. And then to, uh, to gather some more gold, all you have to do is just open the chest and destroy some sofas and chairs because gold can be found everywhere, as you can see. So there's a bunch of chests in this, in this POY that you can open and you will get your gold. Also, you can do uh, quest-related uh, NPCs. So you can just go right here. And there's a payphone and an NPC. So there's a payphone right here. This is why I highly recommend this spot. So you can go to the payphone and get a quest from here. So you can choose any of these fishing, fishing holes. Very easy. That's 80 gold. Uh, consume forage items, 80 gold. Uh, upgrade a weapon at, a, at an upgrade bench, which is the best one you need to do. And then there's the shotgun elimination. So take this one right here. I'll tell you why in a second. And then you go right here to the special forces NPC who should be uh, right around here. Yep, there it is. So that's, uh, you can see it on the map. And then I'm going to show you where you can do the upgrade a weapon uh, uh, at an upgrade bench. So this is the Special Forces NPC. And you can get these two quests, the Assault Rifle Elimination and the Assault Rifle Damage. You can choose one of those. So you can get this, for example. And then you go back right where you came from. And you will find an upgrade bench that you can use. So let's go right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go up a little bit. So this is where you can find the upgrade bench, right over here. And oh, you just upgrade one of your weapons. There we go. And yeah, just like that. Oh, we already have somebody here. Sorry, buddy. I'm just, I'm just making a video. Come on, don't kill me. I wasn't even ready. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you do it. I highly recommend doing it this way. Uh, you can then chase around the, the one with the bounty. And that's at least, at the very least, 300 gold bars or 400 gold bars in one game. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. This is a week 6 epic quest. It says that you have to uh, spend 500 gold bars. And the best way to spend all of your gold is simply to go to Catty Corner right here. Because there's an upgrade bench right over here. So just grab any weapon. Since you have the, the gold on you. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so then you go right here and you upgrade that weapon to uncommon and then to rare and that's exactly 500 gold. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do and that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 6 epic quest, it says that you have to destroy equipments on top of abductors. So these are the abductors right here. It's these giant alien ships that abduct you to the mothership right there. So you simply go on top of one of these. So you will find them all around the map. As you can see, you can see them when you drop and you can see them on the map. And you simply destroy these equipments right over here. So let's fall off right here. I don't trust that guy. So these are the equipments as you can see. You simply destroy these. So that's one. That's two. And that's three. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should could be the quest. This uh, week six epic quest is this that you have to open chests or loot inside of low gravity areas. So uh, you have to either open uh, normal chests or ammo boxes and low gravity areas are uh, the, the biomes in Holy Hatchery. So just go to Holy Hatchery right here and you'll find these biomes right here. So for now we have two of them. And you simply go inside. So let's fall down. And you go looking for chests and ammo boxes. So you'll find many of those around. So here's a chest right here. You can also go uh, to the to the house <laughs> right over there, I think. Yeah, there it is. And up, and up, and up. Okay, let's just 
destroy this. There it is. So you'll find everything you need in these two biomes. As you can see, it is low gravity. And it's not very easy to move in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. This is all you have to do. Just come here, follow, uh, like, look for the chests and ammo boxes. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 6 epic quest, it says that you have to deploy alien nanites anywhere other than holy hatchery. So this is holy hatchery right here. So you have to be anywhere else, uh, anywhere like uh, outside this this uh, PUI, and you simply grab one of these nanites right here, and you deploy them. So this is what a nanite looks like. There it is. It's a common item. So you take that and you simply deploy it, and you create a zero gravity uh, a zero gravity like uh, uh, area which you can build on, of course, like middle air, <laughs> which uh, it's really which is really cool. Uh, also, uh, these alien nanites are really hard to find. They are common items. That's true. But they are really really hard to find you can find them literally anywhere so i'm gonna show you where i usually like find my alien nanites so uh let me let me get off this it's interfering with my map so let me go up okay so this is where i find most of my alien nanites i either go to hydro 16 right here i mostly find some of these here uh weeping woods and uh right here at pleasant park i found a lot of those like all around the ground and yeah uh most of my alien nanites i found them on the ground like not from chests so if i open chests I rarely ever get a alien nanite, so as you can see, there's nothing there and nothing there. Uh, so yeah, you just have to go around the map until you find them, and when you find them, uh, when you find one, just instantly deploy it if you are outside of Holy Hatchery, and that should be the quest. For this uh, week 6 epic quest, it says that you have to destroy alien trees, and as you can see, alien trees are the new trees in Holy Hatchery. So just come here to this PUI, right over here, and you will find these alien trees inside the biomes, the low gravity biomes right here. So as you can see, there's a bunch of them there and a bunch here. And all you have to do is just destroy these. So let's destroy them. That's one. They're just like normal trees. <laughs> so let's destroy this one. And we'll destroy one more. And oh. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. This uh, week 6 epic quest is that you have to plant saplings at uh, Stumpy Ridge, Fork Knife, fork knife uh, uh, Food Truck, or FN Radio. So you only need uh, to plant three of these, and each PUI has three. So right here we have the Fork Knife Food Truck, as you can see. So I'm going to show you on the map where that is. It's exactly where my camera is right now. So right above Lazy Lake, you will find this Fork Knife uh, Food Truck right here. And as you can see, right behind it, uh, you can actually see the saplings. So these are the saplings right here. They're little saplings that you can plant, you can interact with. So there's this one right here. And then there's this one right here. The second location is going to be Stumpy Ridge, right over here. So this is where the location is, right next to the road, uh, right behind Weeping Woods right here. So as you can see, we have Weeping Woods, Slurpy Swamp, and the road that goes between them. And then at the edge right here at the turn, you will find Stumpy Ridge. And uh, in this uh, spot, you'll also find three more saplings. So there will be two right here, right next to these like stumps right here. So that's sampling number one, sapling number two. And then you simply go up this hill right here and you will find sapling number three right between these trees. As you can see, the third and final location, it's uh, FN radio. So this is the location right over here. As you can see, right next to uh, craggy cliffs, you'll find the FN radio and just go right next to it, right outside of it. So let me reduce the speed of the camera. And you will find the three saplings right on top of this hill, right next to each other, as you can see. So that's sapling, no sapling number one, sapling number two, and sapling number three. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, basically, you have to come to one of these POIs and interact with, th with three of these saplings, and that should complete the quest. For this week 7 epic quest, it says that you have to use the recon scanner to uh, scout an enemy player or to spot an enemy player. So this is the recon scanner right here, and you can find it in uh, these radar dish uh, like uh, POIs. So this is the spot that I'm, in right, that I'm in right now. There's a bunch of these spots all around the map. You can go to any of these. So just go to, uh, to this if you want. Or you can go to the any of the others in the middle of the map. There's this one right here, there's this one right here. Uh, and simply open the uh, the IO chest, the IO guard chest right here. And you can find the uh, uh, recon scanner, as you can see. And then you simply spot an enemy. So let's uh, pretend this guy is an enemy. And you use this. And as you can see, you mark them. And you can know where they are. And you can use this twice. And then, of course, you can eliminate them. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this week 7 epic quest, it says that you have to visit uh, Catty Corner, Camp Cod, and Lazy, uh, not Lazy Lake, Misty Meadows in the same match. So these are the three POIs. This is Catty Corner. 
this is Camp Cod, and this is Misty Meadows. So I highly recommend doing this in a saucer, so you can grab these practically anywhere. So wherever you find a saucer, just bring it here and keep flying. So this is PY number one. So just by flying over it, that should count as visiting it. And then we make our way to Camp Cod, right over there. All we need to do is just fly over it. Of course, you can still do this uh, by foot, uh, because the PYs are not really that far from each other. So you can practically walk this like uh, between the three PYs. So this is Camp Cod right here. So let's go over it, just to be sure. And up. That's that the uh, saucer. Also, there is a secret saucer in Camp Cod right there, if you can see it. So let me try to ping it. It should be right between these trees. Yeah, there it is. So you can just go there, grab that saucer, and start from Camp Cod, which is a better solution. And then you can go to uh, Misty Meadows right over here. So let's make our way to the POI. Pretty easy. Nothing too hard about this uh, about this quest. Of course, you, don't, you have to be careful not to get shot down. Because people tend to shoot down any like mysterious saucers in the sky. And here we are. So yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 7 epic quest, it says that you have to search ammo boxes. So this is a pretty easy quest. All you have to do is just go to one of these main POIs. So I highly recommend Believer Beach because this building right here underneath me has a bunch of ammo chests. Uh, it's a lot of them. Like, really a lot. <laughs> so all you have to do is just uh, follow the stairs. And you will start finding them all around. Alright, so there's the first ammo chest right here. That's one. Let's see if there's any or yeah, that's, that's number two right there. Let's keep going down. That's a rare chest. And yeah, so, uh, that's number three <laughs> right there. So yeah, that's pretty easy. Uh, all you have to do is just keep looking around and find as many ammo chests as you can. So you, you have the entire PUI at your hand. Just keep looking around until you complete the entire quest. For this uh, week 7 epic quest, it says that you have to defeat Riot. So Riot is an NPC that you can find all the way over here, right next to the yellow bridge. So this PUI right here, right between Misty Meadows and Catty Corner. And he will instantly attack you. So let's get close and then we eliminate him. So all you have to do is just defeat him. There it is. And that's it. <laughs> Pretty easy. And then he will respawn. As an NPC that you can interact with, you can get this quest, this quest, or you can buy the Storm Scout exotic sniper from him. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should copy the quest. For this uh, week 7 epic quest, it says that you have to reach top speed in a Whiplash. So Whiplash is this car right here. It's one of the fastest cars. And if you want a 100% spawn rate for this car, you can go right here at Lazy Lake. You can go right here at this bridge. Or you can go at the Fancy View house right here. There should be a Whiplash right here. And then you simply drive it, so let's jump into it. Come on. And we reach, simply reach top speed by boosting, so let's go into a main road. Ah. Let's go right here. And there it is, okay, so. Come on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And up. Oh. So this should be the top speed of Whiplash which is 99 or 100 yep there it is 100 over 100 damn that is really really fast and that's it we used our entire fuel, ga uh, fuel gauge <laughs> so yeah that's all you have to do just find one of these whiplashes and simply go to the open road and uh, like uh, like boost as much as you can until you reach until you reach like over 100 uh, like miles per, per hour I guess and yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 7 epic quest, it says that you have to drive a whiplash through the storm. So first we need to get our whiplash. So go to Lazy Lake. Or you can go to this bridge right here. Or you can go right over here to Fancy View. Uh, there should be whiplashes all over those places. So you need to be kind of lucky to find these. Because sometimes they don't spawn. As, I, as I'm saying that, it does not spawn here. So let's go to the, um, to the freaking gas station. Nope, no whiplash here. Let's go to the bridge then. Okay, here we are at the bridge. Like I said, you need to be kind of flexible with this. So as I said, uh, you can you can find the whiplash either at Lazy Lake or you can find it at the bridge right here. So let me pink this spot. Uh, where am I? Where am I? This is the spot right here. So we went here, we didn't find it, and we went straight here using the boat. So this is the whiplash. So once we have it, all we have to do is just uh, go to the store. So the storm should be coming from uh, right here. So we should be going right over here to drive through it. 
Okay, here we are. We're at the edge of the map and we're simply gonna wait for the storm. So thanks to the editing powers, <laughs> we're gonna skip right to there. All right, here comes the storm. It's almost here. Let's get ready. Jump into our driver's seat. And we simply have to drive the whiplash through the storm. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, it's here, it's here. Let's a uh, little like uh, go ahead of us a little bit. And then you simply drive through it in our retro whiplash. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. You can just keep doing it over and over again. And if you don't want to wait, you can you can like easily uh, drive over water if you have these like tires, these like uh, uh, upgrade tires on uh, in your whiplash. And up. Nice. That will make for a great thumbnail. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. For this uh, week seven epic quest, it says that you have to complete Whiplash time trials, and the Whiplash time trials are gonna be all the way at Lazy Lake. So just make your way to this spot exactly, right over here, right next to the these rocks right here, and right over here, right on my cursor, there should be a a big a big like blue arrow that you can interact with to start the time trials. So this is the exact location, right over here right to the uh, like uh, east of uh, Lazy Lake, right over here. So you will find an arrow right here, just interact with it and you can simply start the path and you can do the time trials, the whiplash time trials. You can use it with any car, not uh, like necessarily a whiplash. And yeah, that's it. Just uh, keep following the path until you complete the quest. So this uh, week eight uh, epic quest is that you have to uh, consume four shield potions in the same match. So I highly recommend coming to any like uh, uh, satellite station, as you can see right here. Uh, because of the IO guards, that will help you uh, like get some damage. So you can drink three pretty easily. Mm, I don't see any IO guards, so we're gonna use this uh, this little piggy right here. So first, you consume these right here. So we consume two minis, and then we consume our big pot. And then to consume like the fourth one, we're gonna need to take some damage. So let's take some damage. And up. Then we can consume our fourth pot right here. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, you can also like find the pots in like the IO guard like uh, chest. They have a lot of like shield pots. So I highly recommend coming to one of these PUIs. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this week eight epic quest, it says that you have to uh, collect building resources. You need 750 mats. So believe it or not, the best spot for this uh, like uh, quest is this right here, the Durburger uh, restaurant. So make your way right here to the Durburger thingy between Holly Hatchery and Strip Swamp, and you will find a lot of like wood right over here, right next to this van. So as you can see, all you have to do is just farm this wood right here. So let's farm a little bit of it and show you. And up. And yeah, that's the basic gist of it. Just farm all of this and farm all of that. And that should give you 750 mats really, really quick. Plus, nobody really like lands here. So it's very empty spot. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 8 epic quest, it says that you have to uh, visit Coral Cove, Base Camp, and uh, Unremarkable Shack. So these are three locations on the map. Three little like PUIs. So the first one is going to be the Base Camp Cove. And it's going to be right here, right behind Catchy Corner. So just make your way over there. And all you have to do is just land there and, you know, that should count as visiting. Also, you can do this in uh, like uh, a squad. So this could be done in a team assist. So every one of your friends, like invite two of your friends and each of you go to one location and it will like automatically count as visiting all three locations. So this is the first location right here. We'll go to the second one. Coral Cove is going to be all the way over here, right next to Coral Castle. So this is the location right over here. So all of this should be counted as Coral Cove. So simply land here and just walk around. So this should be Coral Cove, this should be Coral Cove, and this right here should be Coral Cove. And you simply land here and that should count at the second location. And the third location is going to be all the way over here. So this is Unremarkable Shack right here. So it's going to be this island between Stealthy Stronghold and Craggy Glyphs. So let me uh, zoom out of the map. So there it is right here. So simply go to that island and you will find a little shack right there and that should be the unremarkable shack so it should be like this one right here or this one right here so just to be safe just uh land in the middle and hop 
There it is. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this week 8 epic quest, it says that you have to build 25 structures. So that's pretty easy. Just farm some mats wherever you can you can find them. And simply triple build as much as you can. So that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, and then 25. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. Very easy. For this week 8 epic quest, it says that you have to complete bounties from bounty boards. So the idea is for you to go to a bounty board location and grab a bounty and uh, chase that bounty and kill them. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you like the best location for me like, personally is this house right here. Because it's basically at the center of the map and a lot of people like land at Weeping Woods, Holy Hatchery and Believer Beach. So simply go right there and you will find a little house right here. There it is. And there should be a secret like bunker right under here. Ooh, there's a there's a rare chest. You don't find these like you don't find many of these. So let's grab this right here. Nice, very good, very good. So go inside the house right here. And you'll find a secret closet. Uh there it is, that you can interact with. So do that. And go inside. Destroy this. And you'll find the bounty board right here. So let me take a screenshot of this because we're gonna need it as a thumbnail. You simply start it right here, and you should know by now like how to bo how bounty board boards work. But I'm gonna explain it uh, just as well. So right here we see this green circle right here. That's the entire zone that uh, your enemy like bounty is could be right here, here, or here, or here. So simply go to this zone and find him and kill him. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. Just do this three times. And it should be like complete. It should complete the quest. As you can see, like the circle is moving, so your enemy is moving right over here. Uh, and yeah, after you do this, you need to do this twice more, so you can just start another game and come here again. Or you can go to any other bounty board on the map. There's another one right here at Believer Beach, right here. Uh, there should be another one right here at Catty Corner. If you want to know like all the locations, just go to my channel and write all bounty board locations, and there will be a guide on all the locations right here. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. Just chase your bounty three times and make sure you complete the bounty. And that should complete the quest. Also, uh, if somebody poaches the bounty, it doesn't say if it works or not. But if somebody poaches your bounty, it, it might work. <laughs> okay, so just go for the bounty. But if somebody poaches it, maybe like if somebody else kills it, maybe it will count. Uh, if it doesn't, you're going to have to chase it and kill it yourself. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 8 epic quest, it says that you have to ignite players or enemy player structures with, uh, with fire. So you're going to need a fire jar right here. And you can only find these next to trees at night time. So it has to be night time in the game right there. As you can see, it's all starry. And you'll find these next to these like uh, trees. As you can see, you simply collect them. So let's collect as much as we can. And now we simply make our way to uh, a uh, like a location where there's a player. So let's go to Weeping Woods. All right, here we go. I got some players right here. They look like uh, they look like uh, bots, but that doesn't matter. So there it is. As you can see, you simply burn them, and the fire should spread out and burn them all. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. You need to do this uh, 15 times and that should complete the quest. For this week 8 epic quest, it says that you have to emote in front of a camera at Believer Beach or Lazy Lake. So we're gonna go to Believer Beach. You only need to uh, interact with one of these. So just go to this camera right here. And we're gonna dance in front of it. So let's see if it is there. It should be there. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, there it is right there. So simply make your way to that camera. And dance in front of it. So let's go. There it is, that's a camera, and there is simply a moat. So there's these two like uh like cutout, cardboard cutouts, and we simply dance <laughs> in front of it. That's my Griffey dance right there. Bam, 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 bam. Or you can try the top camera right here. So there should be another camera right over here. Simply go up top. Ah, uh, they removed it. Okay, so yeah, that's this is the camera for uh this is the only camera for Believer Beach right there. So let's protect ourselves right here. And the other one at Lazy Lake, just in case this one does not work, which is highly unlikely. Uh, the other one is going to be... Come on. The other one is going to be at Lazy Lake. So you see this house right here? Right next to the pool, you'll find the other one right here, right next to the pool. You can emote in front of that. Uh, but I highly recommend just coming here, right here to Believer Beach. Nobody really comes to this beach right there. And simply emote again in front of it. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this week 9 epic quest, it says that you have to use a Grabatron in order to yeet a, uh, a toilet twice. So all you have to do is just come to Pleasant Park. Because it's the spot where I always find my uh, 
my Gravitron like items. And as you can see, here's the here's the uh, uh, toilet. So just destroy this to open up a spot, and then we grab it. Oh, and then we beat it, <laughs> just like that. And then you go to the next house. Same thing. We're gonna look for the toilet. Let's go inside. Don't get abducted. Don't get abducted. Okay. Let's go inside. Come on, come on. Where's your toilet? What? Do they not have a toilet here? Uh, maybe here? Nope. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, no toilets here. So let's go to the next house. There should be a toilet here. I believe they believe in toilets. So let's go through the main door. And oh, Toilet, toilet, toilet. Should be upstairs. Nothing here. Nothing here. Ah, there's a toilet right here. All right, let's open up a spot to, to eat it. And oh, then we use this, and then we throw it away. So yeah, that's it. Just do this twice, and that should complete the this week nine epic quests. Is that you have to dance on an abductor or as a passenger on a saucer? So these are the abductors right here. These giant like abductor alien ships. Simply jump on top of this one and simply dance like anything. So you can do this, or you can just go to one of these like uh, saucers and switch to the uh, like passenger seat and then dance, of course. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do, and that should copy the quest. For this week nine epic quest, it says that you have to deal uh, damage while avoiding uh, like absolute damage. So you need to avoid any damage and deal 100 damage to opponents. So this quest is pretty easy. It, it sounds hard, but it's not. So all you have to do is just have an opponent and simply avoid their damage. And be the one to damage them. That's it. So it's pretty easy. <laughs> so you can just do this and just pump them to the face. Of course, I failed that because I'm not that good at the game. But you get the basic idea, guys. Just make sure you don't take the damage and deal 100 damage and that should complete the quest. For this week 9 epic quest, it says that you have to reveal an opponent using a recon scanner, which is this weapon right here. And then hit them once with the uh, with the rail gun, which is this weapon right here. So to get both of these weapons, I highly recommend coming to these satellite dishes. So there's, there's a lot of them all around the map. Just go to any one of those. And once you find these two, just find an opponent or even like an IO guard. It should work on both. And let's, let's spawn an opponent right over here. And then we're gonna scan him. And once they're scanned, all you have to do is just hit them once. There it is. That's it. <laughs> That's all you have to do. You only need to hit them once, so you don't, you don't even need to kill them. Just by hitting them once, that should complete the quest. For this week 9 epic quest, it says that you have to drive off an IO guard vehicle, which is that vehicle right there, using off-road tires for 1,000 meters. So for this, I highly recommend coming to this like gas station right over here, because there is this new super uh, swamp POI and there's a bunch of these like IO guard vehicles. So first we need the off-road tire. So let's get it from one of these. Nope, nothing there. There should be another one right over here. So just by destroying tires, you get the off-road tires. So let's destroy these. Nope, <laughs> come on. Oh, I get it. I think it's bugged. Damn. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, it's bugged. Sorry, guys. So yeah, uh, you get the idea just to get uh, one of those tires from the from the basic tires, and then you go equip the off-road uh, off tires on top of this IO guard uh, vehicle, and then you drive it off for 1,000 meters. So just keep driving until you hit 1,000 meters with the with the off-road tires, and then that should complete the quest. So yeah, just make sure you use the off-road tires. It's uh, currently bugged because I'm in Team Rumble, uh, not Team Rumble, the, in Battle Lab mode. So apparently it's bugged for some reason. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this week 9 epic quest, it says that you have to use an IO guard uh, uh, launch pad. So these launch pads can be found all over the uh, satellite dishes. So this one right here has a launch pad. Just come right over here. As you can see, there's a launch pad. And simply use it. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 9 epic quest, it says that you have to carry an alien sample from a satellite dish satellite. Like right here. This one right here all the way to a corny complex entrance so the alien sample is going to be this little box right here this black box so there will be a lot of, uh, like one of these in each satellite station so right now i'm at this one right here where the camera is uh, there's another one right over here and there's another one right over here so i highly recommend going to the one right next to dirty docks and once you like equip you get this right here the alien sample simply go to the launch pad right there so use this launch pad right over here and then you simply make your way to Carney Complex, which is super close. So let me increase the camera speed. 
And once you get to Corny Complex, you need to use one of the two entrances to the bunker. So the first entrance is going to be this little cave right here. So as you can see, there's the cave. So I'm going to ping it in the map. It's right over my camera, right over here. And uh, once you go up, let me <laughs> decrease the camera speed. So there's the open box right here. And all you have to do is just interact with this box. And you would have uh, delivered the alien sample all the way to Corny Complex. So yeah. That's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. For this week's 10 epic quests, it says that you have to use the Gravitron or a Sorcerer's uh, uh, Beam in order to deliver a tractor all the way to Hayseed's farm. So as you can see, we are using a Sorcerer. If you want a Sorcerer, you can find one right here at Dirty Docks, a free one you can use, or you can find one right here underneath the bridge. So once you have one, or you found the Gravitron weapon, you simply use the beam that you have to grab a tractor. So this looks like... Oh my god. <laughs> I destroyed it. Oh my god, it destroyed it. I need another one. I cannot believe I destroyed it. Okay, there's another one right there. Okay, thank god. We can still do this challenge. Uh, hop. Okay, we got it. We got it. <laughs> so then you have to go to Hayseed's farm, which is all the way over there. So it's very, very close to Corny Complex. Uh, let me ping it on the map just in case somebody doesn't know where it is. There it is. That's Hayseed's farm. And simply grab the tractor and bring it all the way over there. There we are. So that's the Hayseed NPC right there that you can see. Here's the tractor buddy. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this week 10 epic quest, it says that you have to travel 200 meters in an inflatable. So to do that, just come here to Defined Dish, which is this uh, satellite dish location right here. Because you're going to find Rick Sanchez over here. And this NPC sells the inflatables for 25 gold, I believe. So we're going to go by that instantly and do the challenge. Come on, come on, come on. Let's grab this just in case. Give me the inflatable. Yep, there it is. 25 gold. Come on, come on. All right. Next, we double jump. And there it is. <laughs> Simply go to a hill and just roll around just like that until you hit 200 meters traveled in an inflatable, which is pretty easy to do. It shouldn't take long. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this week 10 epic quest, it says that you have to visit three guardian towers. And Guardian Towers are these like uh, giant towers from last season. There's, uh, I believe there's six of them on the entire map. So as you can see, this is the Guardian Tower all the way over here. The first one is going to be right here, right next to Misty Meadows. The second one is going to be all the way over here, right next to Retail Row. So this is Retail Row and this is the Guardian Tower right here. So this is Guardian Tower number two. And you can find the third and final one in the middle of Weeping Woods. So these three are super close to each other. So this is the spot where you can find the third one. Right over here at Weeping Woods. So as you can see, that's the third Guardian Tower. And here we go. So yeah, these are the three Guardian Towers that you can visit. Uh, just in case uh, these do not work or like maybe there's a glitch or something. I'm going to show you some more. So there's this one right here. That's a Guardian Tower. There's this one right here. That's a Guardian Tower. And then there's this one right here. That's a Guardian Tower. So yeah, these are all the six Guardian Towers surrounding the map. And you only have to visit three of them, and that should complete the quest. For this week 9 epic quest, is that you have to uh, catch a gun while fishing. So for that, I highly recommend coming right over here to the lake next to Lazy, Lazy Lake. So this spot right over here. Because it has a lot of fishing spots and a lot of fishing rods. So it's very, very easy to catch a gun here. And simply start fishing. And the idea is to catch a gun. So let's try to do that. There it is. We got an SMG. So yeah, that's it. Just keep fishing until you catch one of these guns and that should copy the quest. For this week 10 epic quest, it says that you have to outlast 200 opponents. So that's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is just jump into several games. Just jump into like three uh, solo arena games and just simply hide whenever there's a circle. Just hide wherever you can hide or if you're good at the game, of course, you can go eliminating people. But I highly recommend just hiding and you should do this in uh, three games. So if you survive to top 25 in three arena games, solo arena games or solo like mode games, you will be able to outlast at least 200 people and that should complete the quest. For this week 10 epic quest, it says that you have to get an elimination at close range. So that's pretty easy. Just make sure you are very, very close to the opponent and simply shotgun them to the head just like that. And that should complete the quest. For this week 10 epic quest, it says that you have to deal 50 damage to Dr. Sloan. And in case you guys did not know, Dr. Sloan spawns at Corny Complex right in the middle right here at the barnyard. And there are a couple of entrances to this barn. So there's this cave right here and there's another entrance on the other side. So just use whatever uh, you, want, you want. So this is the entrance to the cave right on top of me right here. 
So just simply go inside and we're gonna find Dr. Stone and deal 50 damage to her. We don't even need to kill her. There it is. And oh, that's it. <laughs> now we, we exit. <laughs> we don't want any of this. And yeah, that's it. Pretty easy. Just come here uh, to Carney Complex, find Dr. Stone and deal 50 damage to her. And that should complete the quest. For this week, 11 epic quests. It says that you have to travel 2000 meters in a saucer. So to do that, I highly recommend coming to Dirty Dogs right over here. So, ah, let me go back. Right over here, there's a free saucer right underneath us that you can just take and fly around. So let's take it. And up. Here we go. Time to go up and just travel 2000 meters in the saucer and that should complete the quest. For this week, 11 epic quests. It says that you have to uh, like a recon scan, uh, a trespasser and alien parasites. So this uh, is the spot where there are trespassers and alien parasites at the same spot. So just make sure you have your recon scanner right here. And you can find these recon scanners in these like uh, satellite dish locations. Once you have a recon scanner, just make your way to Holly Hatchery right over here. And there should be a couple of trespassers walking around. So let's see if we can if we can see them. They should be very, very audible. All right, there we go. So just use this right here. And let's go up a little bit and throw it all the way over here. And as you can see, it marks the, uh, the uh, alien parasites and it marks the uh, trespassers. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this week, 11 epic quests. It says that you have to interact with the equipment in any IO Guard uh, radar dish uh, PUI. So these are the like radar dish satellite PUIs right here. You can find them uh, all around the map. So there's this one, this one right there. There's this one right here. Uh, there's uh, another one. Where is, where is it? Come on, come on. Don't fail me. Don't fail me. Where is it? Ah, there, no. No. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I almost forgot where it, where it was. Okay, so once you make your way to any one of these, these like equipments right here should be interactable. Just walk around and you will find a glowing one that you can interact with. And all you have to do is just interact with it and that should complete the quest. For this week 11 epic quest, it says that you have to deal 150 damage in alien biomes. So these are the alien biomes right here, these like gigantic like blue cubes. And just come to Holly Hatchery to find these and make sure that all the damage that you do is inside these alien biomes. So we only need to do 150. So that's uh, that's 100. And then that's 200. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 11 epic quest, it says that you have to deal damage in alien biomes. So these are the alien biomes right here. As you can see, these gigantic like cubes. And uh, you can find that. You can find like uh, standard alien biomes at Holy Hatchery. And all you have to do is just bop somebody in the head uh, in this alien biome. So let's do that. No, oh, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this week, 11 epic quests. It says that you have to dance with an alien parasite in uh, Sunny Shores, Lazy League, or uh, Pleasant Park. So as you can see right now, I'm at Pleasant Park. And these are the alien parasites, as you can see. So all you have to do is just dance with them. So it's just, it's this one says juggle, and you press E. And as you dance with them, they will give you with, suck, with the chuck splashes, as you can, as you can see. So the idea is for you to dance with them either for either for 150 seconds or for them to heal you for 150 uh, shield slash slash HP. So as you can see, you can simply keep dancing with them. So this is pretty easy to do. Uh, once this once this quest goes live, they will of course like increase the spawn rate for these the alien parasites. But the hard thing is that you keep dancing and nobody at Pleasant Park shoots you, which is almost impossible. So you might have to build around you. So let's see if he uh, heals me again. Okay. Maybe do this. And do this. And simply disappear. <laughs> and just keep dancing with the guy. Until 150 seconds pass or you are healed for 150 shield. I'm not too sure about it. That's why I'm giving you both options. But there should be a 150 like bar uh, showing up. And just wait until that bar hits 150 and that should complete the quest. For this week 11 epic quest, it says that you have to go for a swim with an alien parasite. So for that, I highly recommend coming to Holly Hatchery right here to get your alien parasite. So these, this central building will have at least three all around right here. And as you can see, one of them is already stuck on my head. And once you do that, just make your way super, super fast to this pond. It's the closest like body of water that you can go to. So let's go right here. Come on. And let's grab this. 
And we're gonna make our way to that place. And all you have to do is just uh, like swim inside of it. So let's go. It's very close, as you can see. This is the closest like parasite to uh, to like a close body of water, in my opinion. And as you can see, there is the water, and you simply go inside of it. And the parasite will stop following you because it cannot go into water. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this week 12 epic quest, it says that you have to deal 300 damage to sorcerers. And if you want to know which PUIs have sorcerers in them, like alien trespassers, it's going to be these PUIs that have these like wavering like names, like Pleasant Park and Bony Burbs. So it has a purple name like that. And uh, Steamy Stacks right now. So, so these PUIs change every game. So just look at the map and go to any PUI that has a purple name like that. And as you can see, you will find all of these like uh, alien sorcerers. And all you have to do is just deal damage to them. You can even ride one of them and deal damage. And just keep dealing 300 damage until you complete the quest. So let's try to do that. Oh, there it goes. Let's kill this guy. And that's it. <laughs> so then you go to the next saucer and just deal. 300 damage again. Make sure you don't get buffed. And that's practically it. Just keep doing this until you complete the quest. It's pretty easy. For this week 12 epic quest, it says that you have to deliver a saucer to uh, Rick Sanchez at the Vine Dish. So to get a saucer, just go to one of these spots. So there's this secret spot right here, right under this uh, steel bridge, the green steel bridge, I guess. So this is the secret saucer right here that you can take. I'm gonna pick a couple more locations that you can take, uh, take a saucer from. You can get it from Dirty Docks right over here, and you can get it from Corny Complex right inside uh, the big uh, like uh, barn uh, right here. There's one inside of it, I think, or here. So yeah, just grab this, and then we go to Rick Sanchez, and his location is the Defiant Dish, which is this dish right here. Oh, so let's go to Rick. All right, here we are. So this is Defiant Dish right here. And you can find Rick Sanchez right at the main building. So let's go to the main building. And he should be right over there. Yep, there he is. And up. And yep, that's it. That's all you have to do. Just deliver this saucer to Rick Sanchez. And that should complete the quest. For this week 12 epic quest, it says that you have to deal 150 damage with alien weapons to opponents. So basically come to one of these like satellite dish locations right here. And open one of these IO guards uh, crates and you will find these alien weapons. So uh, a plasma cannon is an alien weapon. Uh, a recon scanner doesn't deal any damage but is an, an alien weapon. You can also uh, use a uh, rail gun or a pulse rifle. So just like that, grab the plasma cannon or whatever alien weapon that you have. And go to an opponent and use that alien weapon on them. As you can see. <laughs> so the plasma cannon is, uh, is very weak. In terms of uh, weapons. And there it is. <laughs> Alright. So that's the idea. Basically uh, just use a rail gun or a pulse rifle if you want. Or just the plasma cannon just like I did. And deal 150 damage to any opponent. And that should complete the quest. For this week 12 epic quest. It says that you have to deal 150 damage with an alien parasite attached. So to do that I highly recommend coming to Hoggy Hatchery right over here. Because in the middle you will find a lot of alien parasites. So there are some right here. Just let it get attached to you as you can see. And then you simply go to any opponent. And you shoot them down. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. Just deal 150 damage and that should complete the quest. For this week's 12 epic quest, it says that you have to purchase 3 items from vending machines. So my favorite vending machine is this one right here at Catty Corner because it has two, one here and one here. So just go to any one of those. So the first vending machine should be right around here, right underneath us. Come on, come on, come on. Since everybody is busy going to uh, <laughs> Slurpy Swamp to fight all the way over there where the giant like mothership uh, beam is going. So it's pretty easy to come to these. And oh, there it is. So we can just buy a uh, few pistols maybe. And in case this does not work, maybe maybe it's bugged or something, you can simply go to the next vending machine. Right over there. As you can see. Oh. So you can find these vending machines all over. You can find them next to bus stations, to gas stations. You can even find them in main POIs. I believe there's one in, uh, um, uh, in Pleasant Park. So this is a vending machine, as you can see. And you can just buy whatever you want. 
you can keep buying these like medkits you can buy the uh, small sheet potions and yeah that's it basically come here and interact with these make sure you have uh, some gold to do this and yeah buy three things and that should complete the quest for this week 12 epic quest it says that you have to search five ammo boxes in dirty docks so dirty docks is this py right here and uh, keep in mind this quest is a placeholder and that means that this quest with well, this quest might change if we can uh, once week 12 comes so they might change it just so you know but assuming the quest st st stays the same just come here and uh, you can find the ammo boxes all over so there should be a couple more right over here come on show me the ammo boxes ammo boxes ammo boxes nope nothing here nothing there Oh, there it is that's two <laughs> so yeah you get the idea just come here just look around until you find five ammo boxes and that should complete, complete the quest assuming that the quest does not change of course for this week 12 epic quest it says that you have to hunt three wildlife so uh, wildlife are chickens uh boars and wolves so you can find them everywhere on the map so as you can see there's the chickens right there also uh this quest is a placeholder so it might change by week 12 so just be careful of that so if this quest has changed uh, it is because of fortnite uh, they kept play they, like they put uh, under it placeholder so it might change just so you know and so assuming the quest st stays the same all you have to do is just get rid of all these like uh, wildlife come here buddy come here <laughs> so yeah that's it uh it's pretty easy just find three of these like three random wildlife and just kill them and that should commit the quest assuming the quest does not change of course